Hello! So, uh, I figured I'd make a new video uh, where I show this tool thing that I made here for Minecraft. Uh, it, I figured it would be best to do that since I have upgraded it quite a bit, so I can show that it actually works properly. And not just for 1.6.1 like mm. it did earlier. And for those who don't know what I'm talking about, and haven't seen the first video I made of this, then uh, I'll just uh, show a little demonstration of what this thing is. So basically, I'll just go first go to my Minecraft folder, which is under percent app data percent, and the roaming folder, and then dot Minecraft and versions. So here I have these two things here that are currently installed, the two versions, but these cannot be used to play any kind of mods, because every time you start a game using one of these, it becomes for force updated, meaning that you lose all mods that are installed on it. So you have to manually make a copy of it. So let's just make a little test for uh, 1.6.1, I guess. So, in order to do that, you have to copy the files like I just did, and then you have to create a new folder. Sorry about this being in Norwegian, by the way. So, let's call this a demo, not deom, demo. And then you have to paste these. And then you will have to rename these to the same as the folder name, or else it will not work. So I'll just call these demo, with a capitalized D, because I'm pretty sure it's case sensitive. So with a small D, it probably wouldn't work. And then, in addition to that, the old way, you would have to edit this JSON file. And to do that, if you don't have a standard program on it like I do. You can see the little notepad symbol here. But to do that, you would have to just start it and then uh, Windows would ask you if you want to uh, uh, either choose a program for the, from a list to start it in or to find it from the web, and that function doesn't work properly, so I have no idea why it's even there. I have tried using it on uh, unknown file types several times, and it has never helped me, so I think it's useless. But when you choose to open in a specific program, you'll get a list up here with a lot of programs like this, probably many more. And then you should open it with Notepad. I think WordPad also works, but I'm keeping to Notepad. So let's open it in Notepad. And here you have to look at this thing in the second set of quotes, which seems to be the version number of uh, your Minecraft. But in reality, it's actually supposed to be the folder name. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with identifying which version it is. So then we also have to rename this to demo. So save. And then you can start Minecraft. Okay, start it. Like so. I have no idea why this tells me to play offline because I'm connected to the internet through my phone. I'm using it as a hotspot. Uh, there are some problems with my connection here today, which is uh, why I wasn't sure if I uh, would have been able to do this properly, but luckily I was. So then I will just edit this profile. I'll just do it quick like this right now. And then release demo because that's what I just made, the folder named demo. If you choose 1.5.2 or 1.5.1, 5 
then you will get the files required for those f versions installed. But that's not really necessary, because this is just showing that how it works with 1.6.1. And it's pretty much the same for 1.5.2, but the JSON file in the ones before 1.6 and after are different. So you can't use the same text in those two things. But I will just save profile here and play. So here it comes. And here is Minecraft 1.6.1. I could also have copy pasted the 1.6.2 jar in here and it would have worked. Because I'm uh, using that in my to my advantage in this thing. <laughs> so now I will show how this works. Basically, the reason why you need these two things here is that I uh, couldn't find those on the assets.minecraft.net page as downloads or at least not the jars which is what I need so they need to be installed on the computer beforehand or else these two things won't work and as I explained earlier the JSON files are different which is why I have separated this into 1.6.1 and up and here's the checkpoint uh, checks box for pre 1.6.1 which is 1.5.2 and all the way down to 1.2 and I have tested that all of these works so let's say I want to play uh, some big biome craft which I'm pretty sure is 1.4.2 and I can create one of those mod packs, as I call them at least, named Bic Bio. Not no, uh, no, not N. Bic Bio Craft. Like so. And then I can pl press Create. And here we have Bic Bio Craft. And this is already ready for use. Let's look at this. And now, let's look at this. Release demo is not what I want. I want release Big Biome Craft. And then I can play this offline. Apparently. I'm guessing I have too poor internet connection to do it online because I am using my hotspot thing. But here you see that this is version 1.4.2. So. Uh, as I said, I have tested it all the way down to 1.2, and it works. It also does so with the 1.6 things. But those are made in a different way. Basically, what I have done there is that I have told it to... Or I have told the program what's supposed to be inside these JSON files, though. So, they don't need to be there. But you do have to have the jars in these folders, or else it won't work. So what this does is that it copies this, and then it copies it to the folder you would like to have it in, it renames it, it creates a text file containing the information supposed to be in the JSON file, and then it changes that into a JSON file with the same name as the folder. I'll just show an example. Uh, so uh, I'll just call this 161 and here it is that's no that was 1.6.2 but whatever you get what it is I guess <laughs> so I'll just run minecraft and let's edit this profile and then I can use 161, save profile, and play offline. And there we have 1.6.2, which I first thought was 1.6.1, but whatever. You just have to choose 1.6.1 from the list here, and it will be 1.6.1. 1 
but you can't create multiple folders or mod packs with the same name. I have uh, made sure that nothing happens then, because it wouldn't really be fun if you accidentally created uh, something with a name you already have for something that you use frequently, and then it was deleted or something. So you have to manually delete these in order to be able to create a new one with the same name. So uh, I guess that was it for a little demonstration of this. And this thing here, the file menu thing, that only contains exit because I have nothing else to put in there. And this is the about thing and the change log. So I have actually have to change this a bit because 1.6.2 came out today, so I had to change the entire thing for uh, this uh, little p place here. So first I only had the, this combo box, as it's called, in case you didn't know, for 1.5.2 and down, and not for the 1.6 things. So I had to add that, I have two different, just to make it easy, two different buttons, but that was already done. I had to put in a little bit of code. I changed uh, it from uh, copying this file here and just changing the text within it to uh, just having the text in the program itself. So uh, this is actually uh, possible to use for every ver version of Minecraft from 1.2 to 1.6.2. And then you can just go ahead and install mods into the jar, just as you have uh, with the earlier Minecraft versions and the earlier launcher. So I guess that was a nice little demonstration. So uh, since I have covered everything uh, there is with this thing, I'll just end it there. So bye!